back. If this is your first time here, I am a homeschooling, homesteading Christian mama of six little ones. And this is what's in our morning basket. Okay, so I call it our morning basket. However, it's not always in the morning. <laughs> it's whenever we have time for it. So it's usually just our relaxing time when we need to sit together and rest and they rest and listen to mama read. And it usually occurs several times throughout the day. It usually is in the morning and then we usually do it after book work when they need to just kind of sit around and relax for a minute. And then I usually do it in the evenings as well. So it's a little bit of everything. So it looks like a lot, but spread throughout the day, it's really not. We are haven't started this yet. If you saw my other video, we will be starting this when I figure out what book order and why our <laughs> curriculum has us doing it that way. So we um, will be working through the Little House series and um, on Rosh Hashanah, this will be in our morning basket. We'll be reading this. And this week we read this. I just throw some random things in there sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so that, and then our curriculum said to read this one and this one. So we read those and then um, we will be starting this one where we do one picture a day or a week or however we want to do it. So that's in my basket. So basically I have a couple of books that we do every single day. And then I have some other books in there that I just read as the opportunity presents itself. So our regular books that we read every day are the Little House one and the Nature Anatomy. We read one, one little part each day, just learn something new. And I always start with the Jesus Story Book Bible. That's the one we're using this year. And I really like it so far. I was actually pleasantly surprised. I didn't expect much from it. I expected it to be kind of the same old Story Book Bible, but um, it is written in a way that is interesting. Um, it goes through every, you know, the books of the Bible, but it presents it in a way that when I started reading it the first time, my children were like, oh, another storybook Bible. Okay. <laughs> you know, but when I started reading it, they were like, oh, <laughs> they kind of paused and listened because it really captured their attention. I love this book. I didn't think I would love it. I love it. So I really recommend this. It was a very good buy. And then every single day, my children are loving this. This was from Sam's Club in my Sam's Club um, curriculum shop. And we do one state every day. And we go through all the fun facts and we talk about, oh, would we want to visit that state? What food would we eat? Would we eat that one? Or, you know, would we go visit that cool theme park in the state that they talk about? Or, you know, all those different things. So we're actually coming up with some plans <laughs> that we would like to do in the future. And this is just fun. And sometimes you need something that's just a little fun. And they are learning. We talk about the state capitals and the abbreviation for the state when we do it and such and um that is fun and right now as far as our just um grab it books as we see fit I've thrown in some things I want to read to them and I change these out just as we complete them you know we I complete two or three and I add two or three more in so I'm going to be reading this um I'm excited about it it looks really good I don't know yet <laughs> but it's called the biggest story says how the snake crusher brings us back to the garden. Sounds good. I'm excited about it. <laughs> so there's that. And um, I have a lot of books about Alexander Hamilton in here right now. I don't know why. Um, I just had a lot of them from Book Outlet and I was like, let's study Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> so, and we've learned a lot. I have get ready for bed book. It's just one I wanted to read to them at bedtime. So I threw it in there. This is kind of for me. It's, it's my morning basket, morning basket. It's a way for me to be organized. I put books in there that I want to be intentional to read my children. So whenever we sit down to read, I grab that basket because we have a lot of books. <laughs> we have a lot of books and I love them. So I'm, like I've said before, I'm gonna need more bookshelves very soon. So <laughs> my boys have bookshelves, my girls have bookshelves, and then I have big bookshelves in the family room. They're all children's books and I'm gonna read them to my grandchildren one day. <laughs> so, um, but the basket helps me to figure stuff out. Um, Phoebe the Spy, I want to read that. This one's a little bit longer. We may have to kind of break that down in sections, but um, I want to sit down and just read it all the way through. It'll, it depends. So I'm looking for the opportunity when my children really want to sit <laughs> so I can just read it through. And then I have, and then what happened, Paul Revere. So um, 
and that's a little bit longer too. So I'm gonna have to be intentional with that. So I always kind of grab a book depending on my children's mood. You know, if they are not, you know, they're wiggly, I'm gonna choose a little book. You know? And if they're not, and sometimes whenever I wanna capture their attention, cause I know they don't wanna listen to some deep history story, you know, I grab this book. And um, so there's that. And then of course I have my fall book basket, which you saw in my fall video, my fall decorate with me. Um, and that's just a seasonal basket that my children can grab whenever. And sometimes I grab books out of there to read to them as well, of course. But a morning basket, I just, I recommend that as well because it's just a basket to help mom be intentional that these are the books I wanna read my children during this period of time. So that's what we have in ours. It is very, I love it. <laughs> I love what's in our basket. I love the time. Sometimes we get so busy and it feels hard to sit. At least I struggle with that. I, I struggle to sit. And I'm like, I don't want to sit and read to my children right now because I have to do A, B, C, and D. <laughs> you know, I have a list and I need check marks. And, um, but taking that time to be intentional and sit down and read with your children and tell them the stories, these are the things that they're going to remember when they grow up. And they learn so much from them. And you'll learn stuff too that you never knew. And um, they say the most intelligent people there are read daily. So I want my children to grow up to read daily I don't and just absorb knowledge. Um, I love those moments. So again, purposefully planning beautiful moments with my children. So guys, this is exactly where you will find me reading to my children during the day on this couch. Thank you so much for coming along with me and seeing what's in my basket. Until next time.